That's my only son. And I'm going to miss him. Grandma. 25-year-old Carlos Collins. Why would you take my uncle? You love your uncle. Tell him about your uncle. Tell him how you feel about your uncle. I'm sad. I want him back. In Jackson, Crystal says me 16. He will be alive. I'm here with Carlos Collins' family as they are grieving. Lord, help me. Somebody turn him in, Lord. Turn him in. Collins. Everyone has multiple ring cameras. His friends, they live here too. He's always lurking around, prowling around. You put a ring camera on a vacant apartment watching him. That's like obsession. That's right now, we have confirmed with Jackson Police Chief that a chase is underway as we speak with suspect Marcus Johnson's apartment yesterday at the Tapestry Apartments on Parkway Drive. Right. County law enforcement are chasing that car Johnson was last seen in and they have crossed into Louisiana. We'll All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So look, man, before I move forward into the video, I do want to start it out the right way by telling all my supporters out there that I do appreciate y'all. And I hope that everything did go good today during your day or it will go good today during your day, just depending on when you see this video or when I post this video. But anyway it goes, I'm just simply wishing you nothing but the best in every aspect of your life. And if you just became a supporter recently or in this very video right here, I'm talking to you as well. I wish you nothing but the best in every aspect of your life also. But let's go ahead and move forward into this situation right here because I seen something that's really, really touching. You know what I'm saying? It really bothered me and my spirit and I just don't like it, bro. You know, but we finna get into it. So basically, long story short, I seen a post on Facebook, right, that was going viral. Well, I'm tripping. Before I even get into any of that, let me say RIP to this young man by the name of Carlos Collins. He's 25 years old, and I also want to send my condolences out to his mother and anybody that's associated with him that had a real, true, genuine love for him. You know, I just want to send my condolences out to y'all, send y'all some love, some healing energy, and anything else that's positive that can be uplifting at the time. I know it's easier said than done to go ahead and move forward and try to be strong, so I'm not even going to say that. I just wish y'all the best along y'all journey with this situation right here but let's go ahead and get into the video so look man i was on facebook i seen a story i said a story i seen a post that was going viral and i started reading some of the details and it kind of bothered me i'm reading them and i'm reading them i'm like damn what the hell you know it was a crazy situation so i went ahead and looked up the case i guess one of his friends posted this and i will be posting the um screenshot right here some of the words might be taken out because of youtube and their guidelines and stuff like that i want to make sure i'm obeying the guidelines but ultimately you know the post went viral and i'm not saying any of this is true this is just what caught my attention now the details haven't been released by the family directly from my knowledge i don't know if this is a family member or not but i'm just going to say that to cover myself and make sure that i'm having integrity when i'm telling y'all what i'm telling y'all i don't know this to be true but this is what caught my attention okay y'all so look i told y'all i didn't know if that was true or not you know y'all already know how i am and how i do these stories but i did a little bit more research and i found this right here and i think this is aunt and if i'm wrong please correct me but i'm trying to hurry up and you know get situated with this video but as i'm editing it i see that it's not true nobody knows and i was wondering how he knew so many details ahead of time but i didn't want to you know question nobody who, who was a possible family member you know but yes this is the truth right here nobody knows what's going on yet they probably know certain details but not everything in detail like it stated right here so yeah let's get back to the video but anyway it goes basically long story short i start reading some of the details and you know to see that this young man's life was taken and the nature of what took place really just shook me to the core. You know, I really can't understand why people are out here moving the way that they're moving. To be, you know, shot and allegedly um, hit with an axe and, you know, poked a couple of times, you know, 22 times allegedly. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I just don't understand it and I really never will. And like I was saying in another video, you know, basically stating that a man really brought something to my attention, which I really, so I really know this, but I didn't hear it in the lamest terms that he put it in. He said there's a lot of soulless bodies out here. And that's really, really true. There's got to be the situation with this man right here. With this dude, he's not a man because men don't move like that. But, you know, some of the backstory on the whole situation was that um, the guy's, his name is Marcus Johnson. He's 33 years old. And I don't know if I said Carlos's age, but he was 25. But Marcus had actually put up ring cameras and abandoned apartments to watch Carlos. He um, had multiple restraining orders on him. He's an ex-police officer. You know, it's just so many different things that took place with this. 
And I hate that these restraining orders don't have a lot more force behind them. If somebody is willing to go up to the courts and get something approved to keep another human being away from them, it's, it, it has to be serious. It got to be serious. So why not take it seriously? So, you know, I think um, it was the night that his life was taken or it was around that time. We're going to get out of the specifics shortly. But, you know. He followed Carlos to a bar and he was asked to leave. They actually called the police and the police did not arrest him. Even though he did have this uh, restraining order against Marcus, they did not take him because the restraining order wasn't present, which is weird and lame to me. The system failed this young man in so many different ways. And for him not to be able to reach his full potential and go the extra mile that he was trying to go to to provide for his family is very, very sickening and disheartening. And I really wish that situations like this the person who did this to the victim they should let the family have them like give them to them personally and let them do whatever the hell they want to do to them or they should keep them in their custody and do the exact same thing that they did to the victims i'm going to continue saying that forever so if you you know watch my videos get used to me saying that because i've been saying it and i'm going to continue they should get the same thing in return there's no way he should have due process a trial or whatever the case may be but you know i think a lot of people feel like they, they are untouchable and they can do whatever the hell they want to do and it don't make no sense to me you got to understand that you're not above the law and even if you're not getting caught by the police you will be caught by universal law so anywhere you go your ass is grass you feel me but to see his mother crying and stuff like that really really touched me and broke me down because it's so many people being taken away from their families for nothing for senseless things a lot of people got to realize that you don't have ownership over anyone just because you was in a relationship with somebody or you've been dealing with them and things like that do not mean that you own them does not mean that you can beat on them and do certain things yeah i know a lot of people got that mindset that this is my woman or this is my man and i can do what i want to do but that's not the truth even if you're married to them you do not actually literally own them Y'all have a covenant, y'all are together and things like that. That's cool. But as far as like having ownership of them, you don't. And if they don't want to deal with you no more, man, you got to understand that they don't want to deal with you no more. I can't stand when a person tries to bully somebody into a relationship, a friendship, or anything like that. They'll do anything to make sure that you can be with them and shit like that. And I don't believe in that. I feel like you should leave people alone if they want to be left alone, you know? And if somebody got to put restraining order on you or anything like that, that's really, really out of hand. But yes, he did put ring cameras on the abandoned apartment that was around there and stuff like that. It's just a sad and unfortunate situation. You know, I done told y'all enough. We finna go ahead and get into the video. I know some people ready to get into the video. And if that's you, you can just fast forward it. But you know, to my people, they like to hear me break stuff down. They wanna hear what I got to say. And that's what we gonna do over here. But other than that, let's get straight into the video. And let me know your thoughts and opinions on this situation, man. Let's go. Well, again, I'm here at the Tapestry Apartments where Jackson police are investigating now, earlier we saw a crime scene tape lined across the scene and there was a heavy police presence. We were able to talk with the family before getting kicked off the property and lots of family and friends of the victim who they say is Carlos Collins came from the zoo after hearing about the incident. The family says Collins had filed several restraining orders against the alleged suspect. You know, it was heinous up there. It was a lot of the way it was after. The family gave us a picture of Collins, who was a registered nurse, also from Yazoo. We've reached out to JPD to learn more about the nature of this crime, and we'll continue to keep you updated as we learn more. I'm live in Jackson, Crystal Tisby, 16, WFT News. But first, in news, a former Jackson police officer is wanted in connection to a that happened overnight. 12 News, Tia McKenzie joins us with what we know so far. Tia? Mel, 33-year-old Marcus Johnson has not been located by law enforcement yet. Authorities say 25-year-old Carlos Collins was multiple times. It happened at Tapestry North Ridge Apartments early this morning. Johnson is warned and shooting into an occupied dwelling. According to JPD, Johnson worked for the Jackson Police Department for eight months in 2013. He was separated from JPD pending disciplinary actions leading up to his immediate termination. Johnson resigned just before his termination. Now, Johnson is considered armed and dangerous. We'll be sure to keep you up to date on air and online as we learn more. Mel? Now, family members of the victim, Carlos Collins, met up at their family home to reflect on what has happened since early this morning when they got the news. 12 News' Cameron Smith spoke with the family following 
their major loss. I would rather have me be big with an ex. Not my baby. Not him. Ashley Hudson, the mother of Carlos, says her son. I. Marcus Johnson, an ex boyfriend of his, and who. Carlos had restraining order on. Hudson says Johnson followed my son to M Bar. And Marcus was sitting in a booth behind him. Hudson says Carlos filed a restraining order against Johnson, and some of her family members asked Marcus to leave that evening. That's when the security was alerted. But the security guards at M Bar said that they couldn't do anything because they didn't actively have the restraining order there. So, leading up to this morning, I feel if they had arrested him Saturday night, my son still would be alive. I'm here with Carlos Collins' family as they are grieving. Lord, help me! Somebody tell the man, Lord, tell the man! Collins' aunt, Glory Jean Hudson, says her nephew came to see her last Thursday. And she said, I bought two steak. I bought this. I said, well, Carlos, I got your blueberry pie. Take it home, put half in the refrigerator, and eat the other. But I didn't know that the last time I seen my nephew. In Yazoo City. Police, I want you to find Marcus. Don't like my uncle at night. Cameron Smith, Tom News. That's my only son. And I'm going to miss it. Grandma. 25-year-old Carlos Collins was early Tuesday morning, heading back to his apartment after work. Police say they are looking for Marcus Johnson, a former Jackson police officer. A crowd of Collins' family and friends gathered outside the scene as they got the awful news this morning. And emotions were high. <laughs> they say Collins had multiple restraining orders against Johnson for several months. Everyone has multiple ring cameras. His friends, they live here too. He's always lurking around, prowling around. You put a ring camera on a vacant apartment watching him. That's like obsession. That's a problem. And I feel like the law should have protected him and they failed him multiple times. The family says Collins was taken too early as he was pursuing to further his education in the medical field. Now with knowing certain things about these ring cameras and stuff like that, Anything that's associated with him being bothered by this dude should have been taken seriously. You know, he should have been taken in instantly. I feel like, like I said before, if somebody is willing to go to a courthouse to try to get something approved as far as like keeping another human away from them, that's serious. You need to be checking it out. Like you should take all of the steps to make sure that this is taken care of. You know, a lot of people are losing their lives because the police aren't doing their jobs. You should go ahead and take every situation as serious as possible because look what they're trying to do. It'd be a difference if it was another type of situation, but they're begging you basically to keep this person away from them and have something in place for this to actually not happen. You know, and if you're out here dealing with somebody who's a little bit obsessive as far as like trying to figure out what you're doing, trying to be all up on you and stuff like that, you need to go ahead and get away from that situation immediately because I feel like love is one thing, but obsession is a whole other thing and a lot of people get get those misconstrued and it's a big misconception on those. You gotta make sure that you're paying attention to what love is and what obsession is. But I do feel like that the mother and the grandmother and everybody out there that's hurting should be compensated for their lack of doing their job. Now everything I'm saying is allegedly, you know, and it's just my thoughts and opinions, but they did fail this young man, in my personal opinion, very much so. They should have did whatever they had to do to make sure that this didn't happen. Let's get back into it though. Collins took after his mother, Ashla Hudson, in becoming a registered nurse at the Baptist Medical Center. When he graduated high school, um, he wanted to go follow in my footsteps. I am an LPN of 18 years, and he was involved in my nursing. He went with me for community services, and he grew in nursing, and I always told him, go and be better than me and he did hudson says her son was compassionate and loved taking care of the sick she says he was also a family man and would do anything in his capacity to help them out he always wanted us to be okay mm. 
We made sure that we had what we needed. Um, we made sure that if it was in his will, he would make sure that his family was taken care of, from the oldest to the youngest. The family has one thing left to say to the one responsible. We, the family of Carlos Collins, asking you, Marcus Johnson, turn yourself in, please. Damn, weirdo. Turn Look yourself in. Why would you take my uncle? You love your uncle. Tell me about your uncle. Tell me how you feel about your uncle. I'm sad. I want him back. In Jackson, Crystal says me 16 WT. Jackson police continue to search for back tonight who was once one of their officers. 33 year old Marcus Johnson is one for the murder of 25 year old Carlos Collins, who was a nurse here in Jackson. Johnson is armed and dangerous. He worked for JPD for eight months back in 2013. He faced disciplinary action and resigned just before his termination. Johnson is charged with murder and shooting into an occupied dwelling. Collins, who was from Yazoo County, was killed at the Tapestry Apartments on Parkway Drive this morning. Jackson overnight. 12 News, Tia McKenzie joins us with details about this case. Sure. Tia? Melanie, 33-year-old Marcus Johnson is wanted for murder and into an occupied dwelling. The attack happened at Tapestry Northridge Apartments on Parkway Drive early this morning. 25-year-old Carlos Collins was found with several wounds according to the Hines County Coroner's Office. Investigators have yet to announce a motive in the attack. JPD tells us that Johnson Stupid worked for the you. department several years ago. He graduated from JPD Academy in April 2013. He worked in the patrol division for just four months. In September 2013, he faced some sort of disciplinary action and resigned from the force immediately before his planned termination. Mm. Now, police tell us Johnson should be considered armed and dangerous. If you have any information on Johnson's hell. whereabouts or any information related to this case, please call the Jackson Police Department or Crime Stoppers at 601-355-TIPS. We'll keep you posted on this developing story as new details become available. Tia McKenzie. Tw Breaking news right now. We have confirmed with Jackson Police Chief that a chase is underway as we speak with Marcus Johnson. Johnson, who is a former JPD officer, is wanted for... 25 year old Carlos Collins. The Jackson nurse was in his apartment yesterday at the Tapestry Apartments on Parkway Drive. Johnson's considered armed and dangerous. Right now, MHP and Warren County law enforcement are chasing that car Johnson was last seen in, and they have crossed into Louisiana. We'll have the very latest here on air and at WBT.com. Just in the video, man, you know, I want to say RP to him again. I want to send my condolences out to the family again. Just to see the family members breaking down like that really, really touches me, you know, because my family is full of women and stuff. And, you know, I would hate for something to happen to me over something crazy. You feel me? I can just put myself in certain people's shoes. You know, people be saying I'm an empath or something like that, whatever you want to call it. But me personally, I just can see and envision and can feel certain things, man, when I'm really invested into something emotionally. And, you know, I'm just thinking about certain things and just thinking about his last moments and thinking about having that fear of knowing that somebody is really, really like this behind you, you know? Like I said before, a lot of people get, you know, love and obsession confused with the two, and that's not it. You gotta understand mm -hmm. and know that there's a difference. You know, love is one thing and obsession is another. And when you start getting obsessed with someone, that's not of God, you know? That's not, that's not right, you know? A lot of people take this marriage and relationship thing a little bit too far. You gotta realize that you don't have actual ownership. Yeah, y'all got the same last names and stuff like that, but overall, like being literal, you do not own them. So actually understand that and move forward, you know? But I feel like he should get the maximum and I feel like he shouldn't have no trial, no none of that. Y'all already know how I am and what I'm gonna say when it comes to that. He shouldn't have no trial. There shouldn't be no talking to none of that. You're out here taking lives, being worried as hell. You need to go to jail. You're following this man. You're doing all of this other stuff. That's not what's up in my personal opinion. That's lame as hell. And as far as like people trying to bully people to be in relationships or keep on dealing with them, that's so crazy to me. It's kind of idiotic. Leave people alone if they don't want to be bothered. If somebody telling you straight up, hey, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Leave me alone. Stop calling me. Stop texting me and stuff like that. Do that. Leave these people alone, man. You cannot bully anybody into messing with you. And if you do, it's not genuine. Why would you even want something like that? That shit lame, bro. It's very, very lame. Just think about what you're doing. Go on to social media about them. 
just I mean being weird talking to them about I mean talking about the person to other people and stuff man just leave these folks alone bro let them live their life and be happy that's the lamest thing you can do in my personal opinion I really don't speak about situations like that because you know it's obvious but I think that it's getting normalized to the point where I need to start speaking on this a little bit more leave folks alone please leave people alone that's all I gotta say about this shit man I hope that he can get I mean the maximum I'm talking about as far as you can take and I think Mississippi don't play no games down there too so yeah whatever type of penalty he can get he need the firing squad he needs something very very you know hey and I don't I don't even condone violence I don't believe in that and uh, none of that I'm really trying to be on the most positive path that I can be on but certain situations will pull at your heartstrings and make you feel certain ways, you know. And I'm going to be feeling like this in a minute, too. So I'm just not being emotional. This is how I feel. This is embedded in me. But overall, I don't see what I have to say about the situation. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this. RIP to this young man again. I hate that he didn't get the chance to, you know, reach his full potential, live life, experience the things that he should have experienced due to the fact of somebody else being so weird. You feel me? Now it's two lives gone that fast. And it's a whole bunch of heartache for the rest of their lives and the rest of their days. Because you better believe his mother is going to have some pain every single day of the week for the rest of her life because of this situation. You can tell that was her baby, man. You know what I'm saying? People got to start realizing that you are here taking people's babies, you know, for real, for real. They're not yours. They are theirs. You feel me? They are their parents. It's property, I feel. You know, I don't give a damn how grown you are. You still belong to your parents. But anyway, go. I want to know your thoughts and opinions. And I will holler at y'all later on another video if they're good parents now. If they, if they ain't no good parents, you do your thing. But the ones who are actually in your life doing what they need to do. You know, you know what a good parent is. Hell, I ain't got to break it down to you. But other than that, I don't say what I have to say. R.I.P. to him again. I hate that you didn't get the chance to live your life. It's just crazy, bro. But I'll holler at y'all later. All right.